in the pace of building up our talent pool and also our member companies to create a veritable buzz in the creative and digital arts scene. We are aware that the digital animation industry is fast moving towards a creative, diversified, and globalized knowledge process economy. The ability to fuse creative arts and technology in particular will help us achieve this objective. I hope that the creative tracks that you will be listening today will open a new world and business opportunities for you. I will leave the viewing of the creative works to our other speakers, and I hope from there you can see how... Gonzalez and Brian Desai, the voices of Philippine animation. Uh, good morning. How are you? Are you ready full or full? <laughs> so anyway, uh, of course we're going to discuss about the art of voice acting in animation. So can you imagine an animation without a sound or a music or a voiceover? It's a silent movie. <laughs> it was like 1930s, right? So, uh, why is voice acting very important in animation and also in computer games? Who are gamers here? Yeah, happy slash. <laughs> so, well, I'm proud to say I'm also a gamer. I uh, play computer games for like four hours a day. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm also proud to say that I'm part of uh, one of the first uh, Filipino full-length Disney animation style in the Philippines, which is to be patrolled by our very own uh, Grace Limaranan of Top Tech Animation. And, uh, <clears throat> well, our company, Creative Voices, is the very first voiceover uh, company that is selling voices online. So right now, we have done thousands of uh, projects like co uh, TV and radio commercials, Japanese anime, original content animation, computer games, podcasting, etc. And right now, our company, Creative Voices Productions, is podcasting all the candidates for this election for Inquire.net. So you can visit www.inquire.net and you can listen to them, uh, to their platform and other projects for, for the Filipino. So you will hear them online. So without further ado, uh, we got my partner Brian, Brian Matthew Lixan, one of the best DJ and voice talent in the country, will talk about the art of voice acting. Okay, Brian? Online, the turnaround is very fast. Within 72 hours, you will have a finished product. Our transactions are usually back to back or through money order because we don't have any um, PayPal accounts here in the Philippines. Unless, of course, uh, pretty soon uh, it comes out. So we usually do it the old fashioned way still, through bank orders and or to money orders and bank to bank. So we do audio design, voice style production, character and animation production. We also do concepts and consultation for hardware setups. If you want to have your own studios, we also do that for, of course, audio and sound. Now, today we'll be talking about a brief history of the voice acting industry in general. Trends and development. Uh, we've got the power of the voice actor and what it can do for you, for your animation. Uh, the voiceover market share in animation. Systematic casting for animation and of course the Manny Voice, the real mind, and like all of us here who are fond of cartoons, it is finding the kid in you. Alright, starting off with a brief history, or with a voiceover rather, definitely it's uh, unseen. All right. uh, Voiceover is a performance of one or two or more unseen voices for uh, communicating, communicating a message. From uh, the word voiceover picture, it is the word or the words behind a picture for television or for uh, movies. And Elaine Clark also adds that there are the voices uh, behind cd room video games, interactive televisions, audiobooks, IVRs, ADRs, and the sort. Okay, so voiceovers are all, are all around us, you know. You can hear them if you're at the MRT station, you can hear them there. If you go to shopping malls, the one speaking on, on, on the uh, intercom, it's everywhere. 
right? It's a, it's a very big and booming business in the United States. We consider it here in the Philippines as a very uh, young market because there hasn't been uh, many representations of uh, voiceovers here in the Philippines. In fact, we are the only voiceover company here in the Philippines to start off with the voice acting industry and representing voiceovers abroad. Uh, there are factions, there are groups, there are uh, certain people out there that, that uh, work for companies, but still, they are individuals and uh, producers alike for maybe an audio production, but not for a voiceover, uh, voiceover company. Now, to tell you more about the history of the, the voiceover industry, the um, technology, or the, the voices rather that we use, are very much inclined to towards technology. Way back in the 1930s and the 1940s, when the first creation of the diaphragm mind was, was made, uh, they came up with very sort of low-key voices. All right? So in, during that time, you can hear guys talking in very big voices because it's essential. It's the only voice that can be picked up by the mic. Now, during the 1970s towards the 1980s, from the male part of the group, it became to uh, the female, uh, the female uh, uh, voiceover talents came in because of the construction of new and better mics, and that uh, the consumers in the 1980s are looking for more, uh, you could call it a more personal touch to the delivery of uh, a product or a service. As we may say, uh, a man's voice is very authoritative. A female's voice for a voiceover is more convincing. So uh, it depends on your product, of course. If you have a shampoo product, you can have a guy promoting your shampoo because, you know, it's time to be here. Unless, of course, the guy has a very long hair. Okay. Now, moving on with our presentation, we've got the following trends and developments in the voiceover industry. Before, there, it's dominated actually by the male voiceover talent. All right, about 90, 95% of all performances way back in the 1970s and the 1980s are dominated by men, and in the mid 1980s to the 90s, then the female came in. All right, there are new and better opportunities for voiceovers here and abroad because of online applications, website intros, and games like that. Screen actors are taking interest in the voiceover industry because the payout is much, much higher. Uh, and uh, the rewards are better because if you're a, an actor for a stage, or for example, on the screen, you'll have to have you'll have to spend a lot of time fixing yourself up. You know, you have to spend a lot of time memorizing the lines and rehearsals and stuff like that. But if you are a good voice actor and a, an actor at the same time, like Robin Williams, he started out as a voice actor before he became an actor. Uh, it's very easy for you to perform behind him. It will only take you about 15 minutes inside the studio, and you can earn as much as five times the wage of a manager in uh, a regular uh, day's work. And a uh, representation, if you have an agent in the United States, they would consider you as a low-key performer if you don't have any representation. And in the United States, they usually